Hello there, my name is Wimp and welcome to another The Hunter Classic gameplay video. In this video I'm going to be taking on the Wood Grouse missions. Now, those of you who saw my Deploying the Grouse Equipment video will know that the first few of the Wood Grouse missions were completed naturally as I did my recon. So the first one was, let's scroll to the bottom because that's where they are. It was uh, find tracks, ID a call, harvest a cock, harvest three cocks, which leaves us on mission five, which is the airborne female grouse and ptarmigan. Now, I have a bit of a confession to make. So, yesterday, I tried to make this video. And I tried going up here to this setup. And every single hunt, there were grouse in that area. But I could not get any of the grouse to take off, ever. There was one where I got so pissed off that I chased it up towards these cliffs and it didn't take off until it got to around here, at which point, uh, yeah, the, the whole evening was a waste. I, I basically, I deleted every second of video that I had made because it was just me constantly swearing at these grouse. So the first hunt, I found six cops and no hens. The second hunt, I shot a hen as it took off from this setup, but apparently I didn't wait long enough because although to me it looked like it was in the air, according to the game it was still walking. Walking! Not even fleeing, it was walking. Yeah, you can hear it in my voice already, can't you? Uh, the second hunt, I got to there and again it didn't it, it yeah that was the first time the hen didn't take off it just ran along here i chased it it just kept ra running so i then gave up and fast traveled here where i then didn't find any more hens <laughs> the uh, the fourth hunt i came up here and again there were hens in the area but they were spooked by a bear and then there was a uh, yeah, I forgot to mention in one of the other ones there was a roe deer in the way. That spooked them. It was just constantly bad luck. And again, I managed to get the hens to come back in and they just wouldn't take off. They would just run. I tried various different ways. I uh, What I w was doing originally was getting into the tree stand, clearing out all the cocks, getting out the tree stand, and then I'd run towards the hen. Then I tried crouch walk in then i tried then i cr tried crawling along the floor and then standing up right next to the grouse uh, that didn't work i tried the flush whistle that works for pheasants it doesn't work for grouse uh, i tried shooting in the air that didn't work so yeah by the fifth hunt i they ran that way and yeah i chased them now unfortunately i did get an air kill <laughs> I had shot one on the ground. I'm using a shotgun, by the way. And apparently, one of the pellets must have clipped the bird that I ended up managing to shoot out of the air. Because when I got to it, it had been wounded while it was walking. Or running, actually, I think it was. And it, it had been wounded like a minute or two before I shot it out of the sky. So, grr. And, yeah, like I said, it was just me constantly swearing, telling the game to go fuck itself. So I deleted everything and I'm starting again. So, in this hunt, I'm not even going to bother going up there. Because I I think there must be something to do with the terrain or the uh, biomes that are there. When I was doing all my recon... Um, there were a few times where I did try to get a grouse hen, but I was only carrying the crossbow pistol that I could use against them. So I did try with that. Now, every time I tried, I did miss. That's why the objective still isn't c uh, complete. But every time I tried, the hen took off. So I'm back in this area now, and I'm going to try these 
uh, well, this area. I'm thinking I'm not even going to go to the setups because uh, when I was actually doing the recon, obviously the setups weren't there and I was able to get the female grouse to fly. I've already had a call from a wood grouse over there. It is a male, but we will see what we can do. Uh, Weapon-wise, I'm bringing the Maisto 12 gauge Simi because it is ever so slightly my lowest level shotgun. Of course, I'm bringing the 7x64 because I still haven't leveled it up and that's because I'm usually hunting stuff quietly the last few weeks. And of course, the crossbow pistol for clearing out the cocks. So, I'm going to head over there and see what I can do with these grouse. Hopefully there's a hen amongst them and I will bring you back when I find some hens. Right, that last hunt was a bust. Three cocks is all I found over in that area. However, the reason I bring you back onto this screen is because the last male grouse I shot, I shot from my tree stand that was down in the south, the furthest south one, and as you can see, I shot it in the air. I thought I would try on just whatever I find to see how to get it up into the air. So this one... I fired while it was looking away from me and it took off immediately and I shot it out the air. Now the one female wood grouse that I tried that with where I fired to see if it would take off didn't and again I think it's probably because of the area it was in. It might also be because it had fled a couple of times and had been lured back with the box caller. Oh, and another thing that kept happening yesterday in all the footage I deleted was the hens, and only the hens, the cocks never did this, but the hens kept detecting me in the tree stand and fleeing. Uh, and again, along the fucking floor. I, I just didn't, I don't understand what was going on. But this gives me a tiny sliver of hope that I might be able to get an, uh, a hen to take off from a tree stand so long as it hasn't been spooked already so i am going to try that north stand now and i'll bring you back if i have any luck all right there are some hens in come in wish me luck there are a couple of cocks as well though So I think what I'm going to try to do is once the hens are close by is I'm going to shoot in the air rather than run towards them to cause them to spook. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> There they are. Just fucking take off, you piece of shit!
fucking finally! This is two days now I've spent chasing these fucking things around waiting for them to take off. Moaning wimp. Right. I'm going to fast travel back to the lodge, get some alpine camo on, and then I'm going to head up here for the ptarmigans. Right, yeah. I'm at the top of the rock climb. There's some alpine ibex headbutting each other over here. Oh, I can hear the footsteps of one now, actually. And my alpine camo seems to be working in this area. Can I get some spotting on this ibex? I was going to say this guy, but it might not be a guy. Hello? Behind these rocks and that tree, aren't you? How's my spray? Five minutes left. There you are, hello! Oh, there you go, I've got the spotting on it. Rubbish! <laughs> um, so, these rock ptarmigans, I'm hoping they act like the white-tailed ptarmigans. Because I, I can remember hunting them, and I remember... Chirp! I remember how to do that was you would scare them away then you would listen out for them flying and you'd chase them to where they fly to and uh, quite often they would fly to like a nest area and no matter how many times you made them flee from that area they'd always come back to it but you need to make them flee there first so I'm hoping there you go you spotted me I'm hoping these rock ptarmigans do the same but considering even the willow ptarmigans, how often in Hemeldale, especially, you know, when I'm hunting other stuff, they just fly over your head constantly. Well, what was I doing? Oh, it's the uh, the Easter event mission, wasn't it? Where, that's right, I was getting the reindeer and the moose. Yeah, and uh, they would just they just fly over your head. So, I mean, touch wood, because I'm sure I'm about to jinx it now, but this getting an airborne female ptarmigan should be relatively easy right I'll bring you back when I find some then right I'm at the top of the second climb and I don't know how well you can hear this through YouTube but of course there are lots of flappings uh, there are some roughly there. Wait a minute. Oh, please be a fi Oh, I think... Oh, I think that was a female. I mean, I can't really remember what the females look like, but I think that was a female. I think the males are more white. Oh, God. <sighs> if only the... <laughs> I'm sorry to keep harping on about it, but if only the wood grouse hen was that easy. I mean, seriously. Do you know, I, I would like to recommend, because I know what Mission 10 is, and I'm I'm really not looking forward to Mission 10, but considering how difficult that one was... I'm I'm thinking that checking skirts should be eight or nine because it was ridiculous. What's next? Two male wood grouse, both weighing less than five and a half kilos. Okie dokie. So I'm going to start a new hunt. I'll see you when I come across. Oh, hang on. No, they don't need to be airborne or anything. <laughs> I didn't see it. Eyes on target. No, that wrong one. Shot in the dark. No. So, the, all I, I'm sure you know what I'm going to do there. I'm just going to go visit all my setups and just crossbow pistol them. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> right, and then see you in a minute on a new hunt. I'm so glad number five's over.
Righto, I'm on Hemeldal to do a shot in the dark. There we go, just to prove I haven't done anything towards it yet. Now, the reason I'm on Hemeldal is because I am in the middle of recording my I've Changed My Mind About Which Is My Primary Woodgrouse Reserve. <laughs> Because I've decided that that west area of Val de Bois sucks. So I'm going to move the three setup rule to Hemeldal because of how good over here and up here were. So I'm about to start the recon to find a good place down in this area for the third setup. Now I have to for the mission get two males weighing less than five and a half kilos now in order to do my recon i have to bow i have to kill any males who come in just to see with the locator caller if there's anything else in the area so of course i'm probably going to complete this mission just as i'm doing the recon so that's why hello I did click on that. That's why I'm here and why this is in the middle of the Deploying Equipment Part 2 video. So, <laughs> yes, yeah, fun, interesting. Now, part of the recon, I'm going to go that way, checking out these four things twice, and then two other times I'm going to go the other way around them. So... I will see you. Oh, and equipment wise, it's. <laughs> okay, so already we got something over by that tower. Now, I did say in the part two of the equipment uh, video that I'm probably not going to use that tower, or at least I'm going to try not to back there, because um, it is a bit close to the lodge. But if it turns out to be the best option, then it's the best option. Um, and the reason I don't really want to use it because it's close to the lodge is because when I host multiplayer, and I have said this a few times, in multiplayer you quite often have other players join or spawn at locations that put them as close as possible to other players just so that they can run over and join in with their hunt but of course that's always good for the person who's just joined and running over but when you're the person in the tower waiting for your you know albino wood grouse to come over yes i know that's technically not existing but whatever and it gets spooked away by the players just joined it sucks so i don't like putting stuff next to spawn locations and that's why um, hi, right, so I'm going to get started and I will see you when I find some, uh, some of the correct weight wood grass. There you are. Uh, 4.5 I think that said and then it went behind the bow of that tree. There we go. 4.5 kilos. Yeah. No. It, it's going to be somewhere between 5 and 7, isn't it? Right then, let's go have a look. Of course, if you're seeing this, we know it was under 5.5. If you're not seeing this, then it wasn't. Yeah, you're seeing this. Cool, so that's one. And I'm pretty sure it was alone. So I'm going to make my way back up there. See you in a while. There's a cock. Hiding behind the tree, the cock. There we go. Uh I've been getting really bad luck. I've been getting only big cocks and I only want a little one. <laughs> we'll have to see what this one weighs. Where? Okay. Beyond that rock. Past that rock. I mean, he needs to come past that rock. 
Come on, matey. Hello. Another one. Oh, that was the one from earlier. Okay. Oh, you look smaller. Right, there are hens in the area, but I do believe that's the last cock. Okay, I'm going to go get the one by Mickey Grouse. Before it rolls down the hill. That one looked quite small. 5.2 Mission completed! Right, let's have a quick look and see what the next mission will be. Eyes on target. <laughs> How many times am I going to click on that fallow deer mission? Okay. Cool, fine. I might leave that until I finish doing the recon then which I have to say is going quite well so far this area I'm in now looks good uh, with a sample size of one <laughs> right well then I'll see you for the next mission in a bit right yo, then on to the next mission mission seven uh, uh, sizing up uh, 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 uh. so Two wood grouse cocks weighing more than five and a half kilos. I'm just going to do both of them from over 40 meters just to make sure. <laughs> so that's going to be fairly, e I mean, that's going to be easy to remember doing it, doing them both from over 40. Uh, so equipment wise, I'm bringing a pulsar bow just in case I need to take anything out quietly that might be in the way. Yeah, come on. Put them all in and then take one of them back out. There we go. Well done. So for this mission, I'm going to be bringing the 357 for the wood grouse. And I am also bringing the crossbow pistol just in case I need to clear out any wood grouse that may be in the way, but they don't count towards the objective. So there's that. Now I am also bringing, of course, the 7x64, just in case, because you never know, you might see an albino moose or a piebald bear or, you know, a reindeer scoring more than 650. <laughs> yeah, right then. Um, but you never know, so I am bringing it just in case. Other equipment-wise, of course, I've, I'm bringing... Uh, Mickey Grouse, just in case I come across one when I'm not at my new setups. Uh, the two callers, of course, and then again, if I come across any rare animals, uh, some rare fur varieties, I do have the callers for the roe and the reindeer and the moose, and I've got the piss spray of the lynx. <laughs> um, yeah, and then that's it. I did have to get rid of one of my flags, but that's fine I, I've got two and that's usually enough uh, yep yeah, so plan wise so this part of the video I've recorded after having moved my setups between Val de Bois and here so I'm planning to go to this one first and then I shall fast travel up to that lodge and do these no <laughs> Do those. Wow, that was a really shit line, but there you go. Uh, Alright, so I will see you when I find something towards the mission or something else exciting happens. I remember now I said I was going to try not to say that anymore, but never mind, I forgot. I have an inbound cock in that ish direction I've plopped my little Mickey Grouse down and I'm trying to get to my little red dot which is roughly 43 meters away it's up on this higher ground here now I haven't seen the male grouse yet so I don't know how big it is 
Do you notice how, the, how I changed it to male grouse instead of cock when talking about how big it is? Oh, look, there it is. Have you seen me? No, that's the... <laughs> that's the decoy. You are... Mm, maybe not big enough, actually. I don't know how many there are. I th there was another one that called earlier on, but it seemed to stop responding to my calls. So I'm guessing it was walking away and just went out of range. Um... Uh, I'm going to ignore that one over there because I don't think it's going to be big enough. And this one sounds like it's down at the spread. Hmm. No, it does sound like he's coming this way. That one's flown away, but that's okay. I don't think it was big enough. I'm hoping the the caller at that decoy lasts long enough for whoever this is to get up there. Oh, that was the one I heard walking away earlier on. Okay, well that kind of proves it because I heard it around here and I set up over here so yeah it must have walked out of range. Commentary! Okay, what I think I'm going to do is call them to where I am now and try to crawl over to Mickey Grouse and pick it up and just try and shoot them at this location. Yeah. <laughs> Wish me luck. Oh, and I say them because another one called. You can just see the rings dissipating on the hunter mate there. Okay, well, <laughs> I've made it back to Mickey Grouse. And there are two grouse males fighting at the rings there. I don't think they'll be coming up to where I called then. Maybe I'll get lucky and I can see them down the slope. Oh, or maybe I'll go to the decoy spread. There might be some there. If not, then I will call at the decoy spread and then try to get away from them rather than doing them in the tree stand, doing the wood grouse from the tree stand. Oh, that's the decoys there. Can I see any grouse? That doesn't look like it. So those of you who saw my moving the wood grouse equipment video will know that those decoys are about 28 meters away from the tree stand so that's not gonna cut it <laughs> I mean unless I wait for the grouse to get bored and walk away and then shoot them as they're walking away at the correct range that's an option too but it does sort of depend on them walking away from me rather than towards me when they get bored. <laughs> yeah. No, in my luck, they'll, they'll get bored of the decoys and then walk straight under the tree stand. I can hear a grouse in that direction. That's a hen. Uh... Yeah, I think I'm going to have to use the tree stand, or maybe I could go up there actually. 40 metres away in that direction, come on. Is that by that rock, that tree, there-ish. Okay, right, plan. Here we go then. Oh, crawl. Camo isn't working. 
I am at the spot and as you can hear there is a male wood grouse walking past me to the left scent eliminator Ooh, don't want that to mess it up so I will waste the five minutes there you are are you big enough Possibly. Okay, I think I'm going to take this guy. What? Okay, shit shooting from me, but I got him, and he would definitely have been over <laughs> over forty meters. Let's see if he was over the weight. I'm not entirely sure, but I think the one that was calling, actually, depending on which one that one was, that might have been the better option, but <laughs> let's see, where did he go? Over there, okay. Yes! Oh! Very nice. <laughs> Joe, I'm glad this isn't mission 10, because that would have pissed me off. Because <laughs> mission 10, it needs to score more than 6,300. That would have missed out by one. But at least I know the distance is doable. Okay, so there's the first one, the one that should have been from more than 30. Now, I will do some fast travel and try and find another one. Right. Another wood grouse cock up on the side of that hill somewhere. Let's see if we can find it and see if it's big enough. Ah, that's him there. He might be big enough. 4.9 to 6.1 when you combine the estimate range of the weight and the score. So, all I need is a decent view on him and I'll take a shot. Nope, wrong pistol. There we go. I normally put the pistols in the pistol slot. But because I've brought two pistols with me, <laughs> I've got a pistol in my secondary slot, so that confused me a little bit. Alright, come on then, matey, where are you? Oh, I can hear him chattering. I'm guessing he's trying to make his way round that big boulder there. There, is that the same guy? I better check because if I take the shot and it's not the same one I'm going to be pissed. Where did he go? There. Survey says, yep 4.9 to 611 well, a bit. Again when you combine the lowest weight to the highest score and you're there. Okay. Sorted! I better blip him and then I'll go over and pick him up. Blip! Okay, and the survey says... Yes! Distance, yes! Mission complete! Oh, and an achievement! Hooray! Let's just get confirmation. There we go. Brilliant! Right, so I will do the next two missions in the next video, student and master. Uh, ID clues, spot one, and then harvest two with a bow or crossbow. I might not use the crossbow pistol for that one, just for the fun. 
Yeah, that might be interesting. That might it might be a bit too easy with the crossbow pistol. Right, there we go then. That'll be the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Ooh, I've got a new outro. I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. But look at this, look at this, look at this. Thank you very much and goodbye.